Father, I am not worthy to gather the crumbs under your table, but you are a glorious God whose nature is loving and merciful in your wisdom. You have unveiled the building blocks of your every character and revealed yourself to us within the pages of the scripture. Thank you for your incomparable grace in that despite my unworthiness, you have lifted me out of the mire clay and set my feet on the rock to stay and seated me in heavenly places in Christ. I pray to you, Lord, that in the power of the Holy Spirit, you would endow me with the spirit of wisdom and understanding so that I may know you more and love you better with every passing day. I pray also that the eyes of my heart may be illuminated by your word of truth so that I may know more fully the hope to which I have been called. Give me a deeper understanding of what it meant for you to die on the cross for my sins. Give me a deeper reverence for who you truly are. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, I long to know you more and more and have a deep yearning in my soul to draw closer to you, Lord. I know so much about you, your birth in Bethlehem, your ministry to hurting and oppressed people, your crucifixion, burial, and resurrection, and your present ministry, where you are seated on the right hand of the Father in heaven. But Lord, I want to know you personally and intimately, and to be identified with you in every area of my life. Help me, I pray, to identify with you, to identify with your death so that I may die to self and live in the newness of life. Lord, it was Paul that prayed that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering and being conformed to his death. And Lord, I pray that prayer too. And what is more, Lord, I also want to be able to say with him that I consider everything lost for the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. Help me day by day to grow in grace and knowledge of you until I can say, it is not I that live, but Christ that lives in me. I ask this in your precious name. Amen. Heavenly Father, give me a deeper knowledge and understanding, I pray, of the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life and whom to know is life eternal. Father, you promised that in Christ we would know the truth, and that truth would set us free. And you also promised 
that the Holy Spirit will guide us into all truth. Lord, this is my desire, to know the truth, to know the Lord Jesus better, and to know him more and more abundantly. Father, it was Pilate who asked the question, what is truth? But your word makes it perfectly clear that the answer to that question is Jesus. He is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And I pray that I may know him more intimately with each passing day. The enemy seeks to hide or distort the truth through deceit and lies. But I pray that you would give me wisdom and discernment to know when the truth of Christ is being twisted or misinterpreted. Help me increasingly to know him more and the power of his resurrection, being made conformable unto his death. For I have died, and my life is hidden with Christ in God. Praise his holy name. Draw me nearer to you, precious Lord, and keep me moment by moment wrapped in your grace and in your love. In Jesus' name, amen. What a wonderful Savior you are to suffer persecutions and death for the sake of saving my soul. I understand that you have paid the debt of my sins in full through your resurrection power. Therefore, I declare my faith in you that you are Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I confess you as my Lord and I accept you as my personal Savior. Henceforth, I will serve you with all my heart and I will faithfully follow you throughout the days of my life. Jesus, I understand that you are the Son of God and you are the one capable of saving people's soul. Therefore, I confess you as my personal Lord and Savior. I am determined to serve you for the rest of my life. Please give me the grace to keep serving you so that I can inherit the gift of eternal life. Please give me your enablement to always worship you with meaningful purpose. Let my actions come from a pure heart. Let my continuous prayers, praises, and offerings be acceptable in your presence. Enable me to serve you sincerely and consistently throughout the days of my life so that I can have abiding prosperity. Dear Jesus Christ, I cannot pretend that I do not understand the amazing work of salvation that you have accomplished for me through your death and resurrection. You have died for my sins and you have given me eternal life. You have also promised to bless me with your Holy Spirit so that I will be able to effectively preach your gospel. Therefore, 
I release myself for you today. I accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I also ask for your Holy Spirit's empowerment that will enable me to effectively function as a new creation believer. Please grant me grace and let me remain your true child unto the end. Dear God, I have learned that salvation of Jesus Christ is as simple as A, B, C. Therefore, I declare my faith in Jesus Christ today. Hallelujah! I believe that I am now saved. Everlasting Father, please help me to understand the fact that salvation is received by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. Help me to live the rest of my life celebrating the gift of salvation that I have received. Please help me keep in me the joy of salvation. i take that place again. Please keep me in the joy of salvation. And I will serve you for the rest of my life. For in Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Dear God, I praise your name for adopting me as your daughter through my confession of faith in Jesus Christ. I praise you for changing my status from slavery to sonship. Since my confession in Jesus Christ, I have become a child of God and my name has been written in the book of life. Praise God, heaven is my home. Lord, I have a desire to serve you in holiness. I want to meet your expectations and live a holy life. Meanwhile, it is sometimes difficult to meet your holiness standard. Therefore, I am asking for your special grace to measure up. Empower me through your Holy Spirit to do what pleases you, so that I can be qualified to enter your kingdom. Dear Jesus Christ, Please anoint me with grace to preach the indispensable gospel. Increase my faith to stand firm with the task of evangelism. Enable me to preach your gospel fearlessly and ceaselessly. Please enable me to be your true ambassador and let me bring huge rewards to your kingdom. Loving Father, I understand that heaven and hell are real places. My choice is to go to heaven and not hellfire. Therefore, I confess my faith in Jesus Christ today as I have declared him as my Lord and I have accepted him into my life as my personal savior. My total life belongs to Jesus Christ. I will serve him throughout the days of my life. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. <music>